Daily family here, and we're gonna make pineapple upside down cake in the Dutch oven, and I lost my two front teeth. See? Oh yeah. <laughs> You want a piece real bad? You want the pineapple? All right, here's the ingredients you'll need to make your pineapple upside down cake. A cup of brown sugar, sliced pineapple rings, cherries, a whole stick of butter, yellow cake mix, and three large eggs. What do we need to mix all this in? A big spoon, a little spoon for the cherries, a bowl, and the big Dutch oven. All right, the first step is we're gonna put the big Dutch oven on these coals, get it warmed up. We're gonna put a whole stick of butter in here and get it melting. While the stick of butter melts in the Dutch oven, we're gonna come in and mix our ingredients for the cakes. So the pineapple rings come in this large can and it just so happens that there's one cup of juice in that large can. Instead of using water with our cake mix, we're gonna use the one cup of juice, and that's our first ingredient. Go ahead and pour that in there. And then now we need the cake mix. And while you're pouring the cake mix in, I'm gonna try and break it up a little bit, okay? Oh. Here we go. Yep, okay. There we go. Now go ahead and mix that up a little bit, Paige. Okay. And while she's mixing it up, I'm gonna crack the three eggs in there. Come on, keep going. Two. Three. Keep all mixing. Yeah, when that's all mixed up, we're gonna go back outside and uh, show you the next step. Okay, we brought the Dutch oven with the melted butter inside so we can show you better how to do this. The first step is you're gonna sprinkle about a cup of brown sugar all along the bottom, right in with the butter. Like, not almost a cup, but half of a cup in the Dutch oven. And then we put another. You're gonna move this around, and you'll see the brown sugar start to melt. So I'm gonna do the next step because the Dutch oven's hot. And I don't want Paige to burn her hand. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay these pineapple rings sort of in a circle and we're gonna put one in the middle. Just like that. Now we're gonna take our cherries with the little spoon Paige had, and we're gonna put a cherry in the middle of each of the rings. Just like that. Now we're gonna take a little bit of the juice and just kind of drizzle it around. Just like that. Now we are ready for our cake mix. And the cake mix goes right on top of all this. It's really thick. It is. Stirred, it looks thick already. Okay. Just 
like that. Now we're going to take the Dutch oven back out to the coals. This only needs to be about 350 degrees. So you're only going to have about 10 coals on the bottom and about the same on top. It's not going to be like when we we're doing the, the whole chicken or the chili. You're not going to have as, as many coals. You don't want this to get as hot. It's going to cook for about 15 to 18 minutes. Okay, just as I said before, we're not going to have as many coals on this one. So we're going to take some of these coals out and set them off to the side. Put the lid on. I'll get really hot. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Dutch oven right there. And we're gonna put about uh, nine or ten or so coals on here. Out like that and kind of space them out a little bit so they kind of heat uh, evenly and then in about 15 minutes we're gonna check it okay it's been about 15 minutes I'm gonna pull the lid off just to check and see how it's doing it looks about perfect so I'm gonna take it inside and let it set for about five more minutes um, it's still gonna be hot so it's gonna keep cooking but while it's setting, it's going to cool off, so then that way we can handle it and cut the, the pieces of cake and stuff like that. Okay, we got it inside. We pulled the lid. We're going to let it set for five minutes and cool off a little bit. Okay, we brought it in here. It's cooled down for five minutes, so we can kind of touch it. It's still very hot. But the first step, so we can flip this over, is i got to get this handle off. And so what you do is kind of lean it backwards, and this, this side will come out here and then this other side will come out just like that now I'm gonna take there you go now I'm gonna take this uh, scraper and scrape all around the outside here then put our cutting board on top and try to flip it over now in the Dutch oven these don't always turn out perfect they don't look pretty all the time but they taste so good so we'll give it a shot and see what it turns out like couple in here. They burn? But oh. boy, that, that's looking pretty good. So let's get those pineapples out of there. Okay, let's get these missing pieces of pineapple out of here. There we go. <laughs> hey, buddy. You want to eat it too? Mm -hmm. Oh, tastes good. It doesn't look like poo poo. It tastes good. Oh, this looks amazing. No, on that other it side, it looks like good. I'm good. It smells good too. It smells like All right, pineapples. now we're missing just a cherry and just right there. It smells like cookies. Can we eat this piece? Voila! Mm. <laughs> You want a piece real bad? You want the pineapple up? Up? Oh my, look at it. I want to eat it right mm. now. Well, we got to eat dinner first, but doesn't it look yummy? All right. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to have some more videos coming out soon, but in the meantime, try to get out and have your own adventure. And make this pineapple upside down cake. <laughs>